An official from Michigan State University spent the night in jail, the second person to face criminal charges in the worst sexual abuse scandal in sports history. Dr. William Strample oversaw the disgraced Dr. Larry Nassar and is now also accused of sex crimes. Kenneth Craig has the latest. I knew that he had abused me. I reported it. Amanda Tomashow reported to Michigan State University that Larry Nassar had abused her during an exam at an MSU clinic. Michigan State University had the audacity to tell me that I did not understand the difference between sexual assault and a medical procedure. The school told Thomas Show an investigation had cleared Nasser. What she didn't know was that MSU told Nasser and his boss, William Strample, it found significant problems with Nasser's conduct. Strample established guidelines for Nasser, which he never enforced, like having another person in the room during sensitive procedures and limiting skin to skin contact. Strample now faces four charges, not only for neglecting his duties, but also for criminal sexual conduct, accused of touching a student and storing nude photos of female students on his work computer. Gymnast Rachel Den Hollander remembers the dean's reaction when she filed her complaint. The response of Dean William Strample was to send an email to Larry that day and tell him, quote, good luck, I am on your side. Attorney John Manley represents more than 150 of Nasser's accusers. If Dr. Strample covered this up and he himself engaged in misconduct, he is right now exactly where he belongs. 70-year-old Strample spent the night in jail pending his arraignment. Kenneth Craig, CBS News.